Okay, welcome back. So the next step in the allowable strength design method is to check the shear. Uh, it's very similar to how we did uh, the moment in the previous step. We just need to use uh, the appropriate safety factor. So uh, essentially, uh, we've got the actual shear. That's what you determine the maximum shear. And the safety factor that they give us for shear right here is 1.5. So um, the first part of this is, is pretty straightforward. Um, nominal shear is just our actual shear, which the maximum shear at the endpoints uh, is 9,000 pounds that you determined way back when you did the reaction forces, times 1.5 is simply uh, 13,500 pounds or 13 and a half kips. So that's the easy part. The next step is uh, where it gets a little bit more opaque. In order to find the nominal shear strength of a, uh, of a steel section, um, you, you need to do a little bit more math. So here's an excerpt from the table. You're going to need to use the area of the web and the, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, yield stress of steel. And then, you know, this, this constant factor here. Now, because we already know the uh, nominal shear strength that we need, we're going to have to work this backwards. Um, you've been given the uh, yield strength of steel as uh, 50,000 PSI. And again, remember, it's pounds per square inch. So we have to do our um, dimensional analysis to make sure the units are going to work out. We're going to have to rearrange this. and solve for the area of the web. Hopefully you'll remember the part of the beam that's the web. If you have a, uh, ooh, that's kind of ugly. If you have a, um, a wide flange or some people call them I-beam section like this, um, the flange is the horizontal part at the top and the bottom, right? And then the web is this part in the middle. Um, now, they tell you right in the table, web thickness and depth, and, and those, are the, those are what we're going to need right there. So, uh, but we're working this backwards to determine the uh, area of the web that we need. So that's just going to be the nominal uh, shear that we determined uh, in, in the previous step. Uh, sorry, 13, I was going to write 9,000, but it's 13,500 pounds after we add our safety factor divided by these two terms here, 0 0.6 times 50,000 uh, pounds per square inch. And again, one over one over inches. Let's do our dimensional analysis. Uh, the pounds cancel. 1 over 1 over square inches, that's going to go back over to the top, and we're going to end up with square inches. Is that a good unit for area? Yes, it is. Area should be square inches. So you just do that math, and we get uh, you know, 0 0.45 square inches. In? Now, that might not sound like a, a lot. It's not a very big area, but uh, steel is very strong. So... Now we have our number that we can check for shear. Yeah, we have the number, there, the plastic you know, section modules uh, number that we're going to uh, going check to select our initial way. beam. And then like we still have to beyond, so. calculate the allowable deflection and the maximum deflection. Uh, and we'll do that in a later step. 